kama wewe hakuna mungu kama wewe hakuna mungu. for the last one year we have been in the process of building our house and this far we have come we can say the lord is Ebenezer. can see the this is the backyard and the landscaping is be, is being done the, right right now you can see some workers over there and we have been planting grass and some flowers so that when you come and visit us it will, it will be beautiful this is the main entrance follow me Now this is the toilet that the main toilet and this is the sitting room and this is the dining room Um, this is the study room. Um, it's, we have already put the books and the tables, but there have been some few corrections from the engineers. Now they have disarranged and these are two guest rooms. Um, they, have started, they have started to be used for visitors who come, but they, are, they have some things that have not been finished like the wardrobe but they will be put later um, this is the master bedroom mom and dad's bedroom as you can see it's big for the two of them, but it's yet to be finished. Um, this is a family room. Um, it's same as the sitting room, but it's, it's now in upstairs. Where, if you are, you are not, you don't want to be bothered in the sitting room, you can come into the family room. This is the balcony. Mm, it's an, out, an outside um, place where you want to have some fresh or cool. Yeah, you can you can come and sit here. This is my room. It is being worked on now. Um, they are putting the ceiling, and now I think I'll be I'll be coming here soon. This is the garage. As you can see, you can't tell it's a garage because we have put it in in form of a sitting room. Um, this is the toilet we have been using. And this is the bathroom. It is exactly one year since we began the construction of this house. We have seen God in this journey of faith. 
When we began on November 14, 2011, by having a groundbreaking prayer where friends and uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord came and we prayed together, uh, there was nothing in this piece of property and we had no money. We just had great faith. We knew that we were embarking on a mission that was divine and so it was going to be possible. But humanly speaking, it looked at all appeared to be mission impossible. Uh, we realized at a certain point that we needed to divide this construction into phases so that we could uh, see the, 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 the reality. So we completed the, the DSQ, the garage section of the house, and we got in on, on uh, August 28th, 2012. From that point it has been very, very fulfilling to have a month coming to an end without having to pay rent, without having to be harassed and uh, kind of uh, pushed around by a ladder to pay rent. So it has been it has been good uh, good time to be in that garage. Though small for our family and needs, though inadequate for our hospitality needs, the kind of visitors that we do receive, it is better off, much much better off. Uh, we, we've not been able to do much uh, construction in the main part of the house because we, we focused more on clearing people who we had their material, materials or labor, but uh, we've been going slowly by slowly. We are now looking forward to the last or the final leg of this journey of faith where we will complete the main house and then we'll be able to continue caring and giving hospitality to our compassion ministries, the children from the homes coming from high school, our international guests, our volunteers, our pastors from far who need a place for rest and prayer and retreat. So we look forward that, uh, to be able to complete Cambrad Community Church has been so gracious to us by accepting to receive and to process our donations towards this house. We, we are still uh, receiving gifts through Cambrad Community Church and even during this uh, Christmas season we look forward to receiving more of our Christmas gifts through uh, Cambridge Community Church for the completion of this house. So once again, we want to thank you so much. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I just pray that one day you will come and uh, see for yourself, sleep in this house, have a meal cooked in this house that you have been participate, you have participated in constructing, and that one day you'll just experience it. Thank you. God bless you. Come away, I'm going